I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto with composer Andrew Hewitt. How does it feel to have two films, The Double and The Sea, in TIFF? I feel very fortunate and very lucky and it's fantastic to come all the way over here from London to celebrate it and everyone else who, t who created both the films. Yeah. What was your reaction when you got each of the phone calls? Uh, you mean uh, to create the films in the first place or to, that they were going to be shown in, in TIFF? At the festival, yeah. Well, there had been rumours, so it wasn't a shock. Mm. But I was so pleased that both of them were, were here. So I can see all the people that I knew here as well who were involved in making them. So it was a, it was a lovely trip, yeah. Mm. What is your artistic process like in terms of when you get the script and then to the final pro uh, product? Yeah, no, it varies in every film and it, it was very different between these two films as well because uh, for The Sea I only came in uh, when they were, had shot it um, and I went off to a little cottage in Ireland because it's set in Ireland so I put myself in front of the sea of the film being called The Sea and I just walked every day there and wrote the music there. So it was a very specific process but for the double I was writing it when Richard Ewardy was writing the script because he and I like to do that on the films that we do together. Mm -hmm. So um, that took a, you know, a longer while to grow. But, uh, you know, I went to the set and, you know, saw things happen there and, you know, absorbed some more, went away and wrote it. So, yeah. And what is the process like between you and Richard while you're developing the music? Um, well, in this case, he kind of gave me a bit of free reign at the beginning to go off and do whatever I wanted. And he had a song that he was going to put in there, which was written in 1850, called The Doppelganger uh, by Schubert. And he wanted to put it in the film at one point. And so I started writing music based on some of the chords from this song. And then Richard took out the song from the film. He changed his mind. But we kept in these ideas. So the song has kind of worked its way in there, the doppelganger, into, into the score. So um, um, he influenced me, and then I you know, gave him some stuff back and then he, he sort of had further ideas, so it was quite fluid. How uh, much of an influence do you think music does have on the final product and on the mood of the story? Yeah, huge. I mean, one might not realise how much effect it has. You know, you come out, the, the sort of classic comment is, oh, I didn't notice the music, but I think when it's not very good, you do notice it. <laughs> it can really drag down a film. Mm -hmm. So when the music is right and it's written very well, and it really goes into the heart of the characters and follows their journey, it completely boosts what is already there. Yeah, yeah. So. And how do you hope that audiences respond to each of the two films? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, because they're very different films. One, uh, the, the double is, is uh, it's got some comic aspects, even though it's quite serious. And I hope, and I hope people find it very thoughtful and very affecting at the same time. The sea is much more kind of overtly emotional, so the hope there is that people are moved and they cry at the end and that kind of thing. And so they're, they're different effects, but I hope they get absorbed in everything. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, and have an amazing time here at the festival. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.